say this, this is so prophetic, but the fifth word in the Bible is created. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I have this passion in me that says, if, if this omnipotent, amazing creator stood in front of the abyss and started throwing planets and mm. calling out colors and doing everything created before he even made a human. And then in Revelation, we have wings and eyes and George Lucas couldn't even make up mm -hmm. the crap that's going on mm -hmm. around the throne in Revelation. <laughs> and there are, there are colors wow. flashing right and left and there is stuff happening that is, I don't know, have you read that stuff? <laughs> I mean, it's crazy stuff in there. And if it begins with color, if it begins with creation, if it begins with the creative, Come on. and it ends with the creative, what in the world is God doing in the middle of this? Come on. Hallelujah. So and good. My passion isn't that you learn to write great songs that your church can sing. My passion is that you learn to use the art for which God gave you to call the world to repentance. Even if it's just to paint a picture that they stand in front of that's located in a museum and people fall to their face Come on. and say, I don't know what happened, but the moment I passed that painting, I felt something hit me and they come to know Jesus. Yes, Lord. If you're a dancer with Juilliard and you're dancing in Swan Lake and the Lord has given me these images and said these things are going to happen. Yes. Ballet dancers are going to be so in love with me and they're just going to go out on stage and start dancing. And people are radically going to get saved. Yes, Jesus. And I believe that this stuff is going to happen because we're losing hope with how to do it in the church in a fundamental way yes. that gets people to stay here. Come on. Most people have already been in yes. here. Yes. That's why they're not yes. here. Yes. They've been in here and they're out of here. And they're yes. Lord. Because we can't speak their language anymore. Thank you. Jesus. And it's not about. Well, I, mm. I, I, you know, this, there's this, I'm so passionate about this stuff because if, if I hear it again, well, God told me to minister the, the, into the bar. Okay, that's great, but let's not be drunk when you do it. Come on. Because God's not going to call Ooh. you to do something that's going to make you go out of scripture mm. in order not to be able to witness to you. So it isn't a lack of grace. It's not a lack of that. It's a lack of being, it's a, it's a, the depth of being full of the Holy Spirit and being able to do it. Jesus did it and sinners came to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it, we're able to do this. We're able to do this. It's why I'm so passionate about the arts because we've got young people who can't express themselves anymore except by way of the arts. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We've got the, the iTunes and all that. It's all art, people. It's all artistic. It's all this creative combustion that's blowing out of the veins of these young people mm. because they haven't been able to say it before. And so they're finding some creative source to say it. And we're not parenting that. I mean, when my Jesus. kid was three years old, he wanted to be a garbage truck driver. <laughs> and you know what I would say? For two baby. years, all he wanted to do is be a garbage man. And I said, that's amazing. That's right. You're going to be the best servant ever if you're a garbage guy. You're going to blow the streets up with creativity the way you pick up that can and throw it into the garbage truck. <laughs> found a new way to get it done without tearing up the trash can. He was going to be a garbage man, but I wanted him to know that he would be the best creative garbage yeah. man in the mm -hmm. world. That I would back him in creativity, whatever he wanted to do. I wasn't going to say, that's not God's call in your life. Come on. God's called you to do this. God's called you to preach. God told me he called you to preach. God will tell him what he's called him to Amen. do. Amen. God will enable me to pray it into him. He will enable me as a parent to do that. Mm. And so there's this thing that's happening. And you know, part of what I've seen even in the, in the small school that I run, because I only take 12 or, or so at a time. But I, I've got students that come in. And I, you know, one student came in and she tells me a story about how her husband shot and killed Amish kids in our nation in 2006. Mm. She was a worship leader. Mm. And she'd lost the sound of her worship. The enemy had come in her household through that whole horrible thing that wow. we watched on television. Wow. It's still in her sound. Wow. And she came to the school and we watched God deliver her and yes, give her back Lord. her name. Yes, Lord. And just released a book that is changing women's lives. Wow. That was her art. She didn't come in there to learn how to write a song and sing. She came in there to learn how to find the words to put on paper to say, he Jesus. was the one 
that was in the household left saving us when my husband decided to deviate from the plan. Mm. There's art everywhere. It's all around us. I think we just have to be aware of it. And what I love about Israel and Aaron, and Aaron is that they're parenting a generation. And I cannot stress this enough to you. I need someone to sing better than me. Yes. I need someone to outsing me. Yes. Mm. I need someone to do it better than I could ever do it. And I will shout your name from the rooftop and be your biggest fan. Mm. What's happened in the church that we're more competitive toward each other yeah. than yeah. Yeah. as opposed Talk to about this. loving each other and being there for each other and pushing somebody else ahead of you than having so much worry and fear and concern wow. about you not being the one getting noticed. Come on. I don't, I have no grid for that garbage in the church. Come just, on. I'm done with it. I'd rather grab a hold of a generation and Come say, on. did anybody tell you you were amazing? Come on. I don't know how many parents in the last Talk six years the of running the school that I would have loved to have had their number mm. and called them up and said, why didn't you tell this girl mm -hmm. that you loved her? Mm -hmm. Why did you say that the way she painted would make her go into a mental institution? Mm -hmm. Or the way that she thought, what were you thinking mm -hmm. when you didn't understand that God had given her way? He had put his mercy out in the form of art to make her survive her pain. Yeah. Come on! Yeah. Yeah. God gave us art. Maybe some of that is the reason. All this creative stuff, maybe it's to keep us alive because it's, it's, it's insanity. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, I'm, I'm just, I just feel like prophetically I need to say this. Mm -hmm. In the 90s in the vineyard, we had all of these prophetic voices that came through that just were, I mean, just unbelievable things were happening. To live in that day and to live when, when you didn't click a computer button and have your song go out, but you carried it back to your nation from a conference that you were at. You mm -hmm. bought all the resources that you could, and you, you carried that CD, or yeah, that eight track or cassette. Oh my I don't God. Even remember what it was back then. But, but you, you carried those things across, and that's how music, that's how worship got across the ocean. It wasn't in a computer. We didn't have downloads. I was recording music before the download era. And so, which there's beautiful things about that, but then there's other things about that that just, that we don't have to try anymore. We don't have to try anymore. And, mm -hmm. And I remember that this prophetic voice came and he spoke from the platform at one of these conferences that John Wimber led. And he said there's going to come a day when stadiums are going to be filled with stretchers and the wow. dead are going to be raised and people are going to be healed. And I see airports full of stretchers and people are going to be just this great revival is going to happen. And it's like nothing we've ever seen. And I remember we held on to that as a church and there was all this stuff about the sons of thunder and all these things that were going on. And, and I just was like, yes, I mean, this was speaking to my spirit. God, yes, yes. I don't know how I'm going to play a part in that. I don't know if I'll just intercede it in. But God, yes, yes. And so for years in the church, we looked for those stadiums. When was the great next revival? And, you know, Brownsville came in and we all raced to Brownsville. And Brownsville had gotten the line and God was doing something amazing. But man's hands got on it and it was over. Mm. And then we, we turn around and we're looking... For God again, and we're finding ourselves, okay, where, what position was I standing in? What chord was I strumming when God walked in the room? And let's try that again <laughs> uh, to see if he'll come back uh, and visit us. Yeah. And then realizing maybe he's waiting for our hearts to get a little bit mm -hmm. more in need of him in order for him to actually shed that kind of light on his people. Wow. And so years passed and Things happened, and all of a sudden, I'm, I'm sitting in front of the television set in Seattle, having flown in um, to visit my family from North Carolina, and Katrina's on the television. Hmm. And the Gulf is completely devastated, and um, New Orleans is underwater because of the those those levees breaking, and that stadium was full. Wow. The airport was full of stretchers. The Holy Spirit said to me, that's what he was talking about. Wow. Where's the church? Wow. Where are the worship leaders? That was the harvest. That's Where are the worship leaders? Where are the churches? We are living in a day and an age where so it's getting heavy. really bad. It's going to get worse. Yes. Yes. We're hearing it every day on the news. What if God's preparing your sound to be the thing that raises somebody from the dead when terrorists attack? Jesus. 
I, that's kind of deep, and that may be out there, and that's not pretty, and that's not yeah. like all put in a package. But what if what Israel and Aaron are doing is raising up a generation to be found on the streets when we get hit like we've never been hit before? Because I've read the Bible. We get hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's going to get bad. Yes. Yes. And unless we get, begin to cry out and cry out and God pulls a Nineveh on us yes. and decides to pull away and decides to, to grant us a reprieve, I think it's going, to get, it's going to get worse and it's going to get worse. And my heart for you is the spiritual mother who is physically barren, who is a mother by way of adoption because that's the way the Lord showed me what he did for me. Mm. Who grafted in. Mm -hmm. And I can never revoke my right to be your father. Mm -hmm. So go find somebody else that you can graft in. Wow. And can never revoke the right to be your father. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, as parents, if you are 40 and over, give away everything you have wow. to a generation. Reach back yeah. and pull them up alongside of you. Look into their faces and tell them that you believe in who God has made them to be. Mm -hmm. And if you are 30 and younger or 40 and younger, you need to get your life right with the Lord. You need to stop thinking about your career and thinking about what your ministry is going to look like and pursue the King. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pursue the That's King. That's it. That's and it. let Him put His sound Thank and you, color Jesus. and a lyric and, a, and a, a paint stroke on whatever it is He's doing, a dance movement, whatever it is He's doing. And get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready because your art's about to make a way into Thank you, the kingdom Lord. like never before. Thank you, it may Lord. not look like what you want it to look like, but I'm ready to parent and to speak over a generation Thank you, who Jesus. just might grab a hold of the torch and run really fast. Thank you, Jesus. That was so good.